David Ziccarelli is the person who's most responsible for Max as it exists today. David's been working on Max for over 20 years, including founding the company Cycling74, which is now the main distributor and developer of Max. Uh, David was working on Max even before that. He's got a long history with it that I'm going to let him tell you himself. So uh, luckily we were able to sit down a little while ago and do a little interview. Max has gone in a lot of different directions over the last 25 years, but for me there are two themes that emerge out of all this work. The first is what I'd call incompleteness. You're given a set of high level tools, but you're not told exactly how you configure them together. And it's up to you to invent uh, a way of working with them. And I think people develop a deeper relationship with tools uh, when they um, are responsible for uh, configuring how they're gonna work with them as opposed to just operating standard prefabricated set of tools. The second uh, theme is the uh, concept of being expressive by making numbers change over time, either by performing or measuring something in the world or designing a process to do it. And typically in Max, streams of numbers changing over time are represented by patch cords, and you can connect one stream to another stream, regardless of whether those two things actually have to the same effect or action in the real world. So for example, you could wave your arms in front of a camera and make a motor go faster or slower, or you could play a note on a keyboard and make a robot vacuum cleaner jump up and down. And this is because the motor, the camera, the vacuum cleaner and sound and so forth have all agreed to talk to each other using streams of numbers and not notes or pictures hoses. 